Hey Doodle Fam, it's Erin here. Uh, we are having a great morning so far. We dropped off the kids at school. We picked up a couple of our guardian dogs and we're going to go to the vet and do an OFA test. We'll explain more about that later. And then we have a lot of other busy things to do. We're going to uh, talk about progesterone testing. It's time for Luna and Mosley to have their first date. And, and then we're also going to go over puppy picking. We had such a good time at puppy picking last Saturday. So we're going to get into that and show you that too. So a lot of people have been asking about OFA. What is it? What does it mean? So we're going to talk about that a little. So OFA stands for the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals. And what this means is we take all of our dogs, all of our moms, all of our dads to make sure that they have good, healthy joints. So when they go to the vet, they get a mild sedation, kind of like the human version of a colonoscopy, and they have x-rays done of their hips and their elbows. And the elbows just get a pass or fail, whether they have dysplasia or not. And dysplasia is like a separation of the joint. It causes arthritis later on in life for dogs. Um, and then their hips, they get a grade. They get excellent, good, fair, or borderline. And then they actually could show hip dysplasia and they would, they can mark that too on the results. But they get put under the sedation, they get the x-rays done, and then in a couple of days, I get the results uh, to find out what they look like. Wow, I'm looking at all these YouTube comments and so many people have questions about breeding and how that happens and why we choose what we choose. But first we have to start at the beginning, their heat cycles. So unlike humans, dogs only have their heat cycles every six to eight months, depending on the size of the dog. So when that time comes as a breeder, it's really important that we get timing perfect so that way we get puppies born. So we do what we call progesterone testing. And what that is, is it measures the level of hormone, which is progesterone, in their blood. So it's a simple blood test. We take them to the vet and they run it. It's an in-lab thing, in-house uh, lab, and then they give us the results. And based on the results is when we know when to breed. So some breeders just like to choose which days. They'll say like, oh, we're gonna breed on day eight. Well, day eight could be the perfect time or another heat cycle could happen and day eight could be um, the wrong time. We used to do that with Bella and we actually missed a cycle. We missed a pregnancy because we did the same days that we bred the, day, the time before and it didn't work out. We didn't get puppies. Uh, so we learned a lot. We had a reproductive vet in Greensboro give us a lot of education. And so now we know what to do and exactly how to, how to make puppies happen. So we took Luna to the vet yesterday and had her numbers tested and she is ready to breed. Uh, so her and Mosley will have a date later today. And so people have asked how often do we do progesterone testing? And we do it every other day until the numbers uh, meet our expectations of what we need for them to go ahead and get pregnant. Um, so Luna is an F1B and she's obviously a red curly and Mosley is an F1B but he is apricot colored. So we're gonna get some really pretty babies and they will be multi-generational or also F1B. Um, and we will see what kind of colors we get. It's always a fun uh, discovery when they have their babies to see what colors we get. Look at us though dancing now, skin to skin. If you keep this up then I'll let you in. We had such a good time on Saturday at our puppy picking. We got to do two litters, so we met a lot of amazing families. Uh, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about how that process works. Um, so everybody from one litter comes to our house and we do it for about an hour and people come and we all sit down in a circle together and we put the puppies in the middle. So it's like puppy playtime extravaganza. And so all the puppies we give every family the personality profiles. Um, which has like some unique things about each one of the puppies. 
Um, if we've noticed something in particular, like if they're a little more dominant and adventurous or if they're laid back, um, we put that in their personality profile. And then the other thing we talk about is if they are an apricot or a red color and if they're wavy or if they're curly because some families have some pretty strong preferences on what they would like. Uh, so for the first 30 to 45 minutes, we just play with puppies. I answer questions that people have about raising dogs, um, about the puppies that are there right now. Um, and then after that, the fun part happens. So we do puppy picking. And so based on your order of deposit is where you get to choose. So if you're the first family, you're just gonna give me your first choice. But if you're the third family, you're gonna give me your top three and I get you the closest one to the top that we can get you. Uh, so sometimes it works out that everybody gets their first choice. I know it would be crazy, but I've actually had that happen in a litter of 10. Um, and then most of the time it goes well, but there are some times that what if the last puppy isn't what the family wants? That's okay. So we had a puppy this time, uh, Mr. Green Collar. He was too curly for the family, and so they decided to pass on him. So what happens to that puppy? Well, I just go down my master list of people that have put in deposits, and I found the perfect family for him. And so he already has his perfect family. All right, guys. The vet just called and Bella Grace and Rue are done with their x-rays. So I'm going to go pick them up and stay tuned to our next video. A lot of people have asked how we keep our nurseries so clean. So we are going to dive into that. Have a good day.